Hello and Dumelang, as we say here in Botswana, I'm going to talk about speaking. I've been getting a lot of inquiries from some of my mentees and my followers about how to become a fantastically great speaker. I'm not a great speaker myself. It's something I aspire to, but I've been getting a lot of speaking engagements lately. And recently I went to Zambia and I was at the Hero Stadium and I spoke to 30,000 850 people and I've spoken to many audiences uh, over the last couple of decades. So I'm going to give you top 10 nuggets on becoming a fantastically great speaker. And this is an important subject for all of you out there, whether you're a CEO or a business leader, sooner or later you have to speak to audiences to articulate your vision and to share your views. So here are the top 10 nuggets. Without further ado, one, know your audience. Tailor, make your message to fit your audience's interests and needs. What that means is that you have to check out your audience prior to engaging on a speech, maybe come earlier so that you find out more about them so that you make sure that whatever you share is relevant and on point. Number two, practice, practice, practice. This means you need to rehearse your speech multiple times in order to build confidence and to refine your delivery. This is very, very important. If you have to talk to yourself in front of a mirror in the bathroom, that is well worth it. Number three, you need a strong opening. You need to go with an oomph. Begin with a captivating hook to grab your audience's attention from the start. That is very, very important that you get people uh, hooked in from the beginning. Then. And uh, number four, storytelling. It is vitally important as a member of the executive, executive Speakers Bureau, we emphasize this very, very much. You need to incorporate relevant anecdotes and stories to make your content memorable and relatable. Stories are very, very important for captivating an audience. Number five, clear structure. You need to organize your speech with a clear introduction, main points, and a memorable conclusion so there has to be three bodies to your three portions to your speech the beginning the middle and the end six engaging body language you notice that i'm using my hands a lot and then there's eye contact i'm looking at you straight in the eye and a little bit of movement you need to go up and down and and and, and so that the audience moves with you you can't just be stuck in one position and then speaking in a monotone. You need to raise your voice, lower your voice to make points. Then seven, vocal variety. And that's exactly the other point. Vary your tone, pitch, and then pace as well. As you speak, you slow down, you pause, you emphasize key points, you go back and forth. That is very, very important for a speech. Number eight, visual aids. Some people use, um, you know, technology. I generally use, you know, something that to be a, a prop or something uh, so that people can have better understanding of what you are sharing about so that you don't needlessly overwhelm your audience. Uh, number nine, a confident pause. Embrace pause to allow your points to sink in. Occasionally take a pause so that you can make eye contact and make sure that what you are driving at really gets across to your audience. Number 10, you need to check out feedback and improvement. It's an ongoing task. I mean, if I tell you that this delivery I'm making is a third or fourth, I've been making um, similar deliveries and talking to, uh, to, and then deleting and starting again. So you need to get into that habit. In conclusion, I'm saying to you to become a great public speaker, it takes time, it takes practice, so don't be discouraged by the initial challenges. Some people may be laughing at you here and there, well, not necessarily laughing, but you will uh, most likely be your worst critic initially as you start. But with time, if you join organizations such as the Executive Speakers Bureau and um, different organizations that are involved in sp speaking like Toastmasters and others, you will pick the pace and you become a good speaker. So those are my top 10 nuggets on becoming a fantastically great speaker. Thank you very much for taking the time out. In the meantime, let me just ask you to strike that subscribe button and to hit the notification bell. Uh, until next time, this is Mumpuluki de Ruma Mohobe signing off. Thank you.